right off the bat and say, I don't care who he nominates, I am going to oppose him. That's not going to fly. But Schumer felt differently in the final year of President George W. Bush's term, when he argued Democrats should block Bush nominees because, quote, the Supreme Court was already to, uh, dangerously out of balance. There isn't much precedent Boston. for a fight like this. Congress has never and, taken uh, more than 125 days to vote on a Supreme Court just, nominee. Oh, this right here in 10, I vote 20 feet long. This time could be different. Conservatives clearly despise President Obama, and they they revere Justice Scalia. It's a bad mix. So you will have a battle royale no matter who is appointed. Some Republicans have told me they would be open to considering a, quote, consensus choice, but they haven't been able to give me any names of who might fit I'm that description. Say. Scott, that's because even a moderate nominee would end up pulling the court to the left of where it has to this is the noise I was getting yesterday. Okay. Here's Major Garrett. Jeb Bush can no longer afford to be ambivalent about his family name or establishment pedigree. Thank you for your hard I'm work for Jeb. Thank for you for what you're going to do. ID. Which is the vote point sure on Saturday here in the great state of South Carolina. Bush is hoping his older brother George W. can give him a... ...BZ News Radio 1030. Nothing beats being at the game, and there is no better ticket source than Ace Tickets. Oh, the best seats, the best prices, guaranteed. Ace yeah, Ticket is Boston's yeah, largest yeah, source yeah, for Celtics, Bruins, Red Sox, or even concerts. No middleman, no gimmicks, about just great seats, great 20, 25 feet of wire. The highest customer service rating of any broker. But I was trying to pick this up yesterday. But I didn't realize my laptop was causing issues here. WBZ News Time 752. 24 degrees in Boston. Temperature rising tonight. The snow turns to rain. Now back to the rebroadcast of the CBS Evening News. Today, an Alaskan Airlines jet had just left Washington's Reagan National Airport when smoke filled the cockpit. Chris Van Cleve on what happened next. We need directors immediately to tell us. It was a Boeing 737 like this one, with 161 passengers and six crew bound for Seattle. It turned into a tense 16-minute flight to the nearby Dulles Airport. The pilots asked for fire crews to meet them on the runway. Dulles Tower, Alaska One, emergency aircraft, and uh, ILS 419 left. We're going to need the trucks, please. Sir, so should be uh, coming out? Okay, we're clear to land. 19 left. We'll be stopping the aircraft on the runway, Alaska One. Alaska uh, One, Roger. A passenger told CBS News she noticed a burning smell right after takeoff. The airline is still looking for the source of that smoke. Scott, both pilots asked to be checked out by doctors. 